עשה ידינו כוננה עלינו, מעשה ידינו כוננהו. פרקי אבות, we continue. עושה ניתאי הארבלי אומר, הרחק משכן רע ואל תתחבר לרשע, we explained it. And the last phrase is, ואל תתייאש מן הפורענות. This is a little bit complicated to understand. There is few interpretations on this פסוק, on this משנה. אל תתייאש מן הפורענות. One of the interpretations, לא להתייאש מן הפורענות. What does that mean? The Rambam, Maimoni, he gives a nice interpretation. He says, there is a פסוק, אשרי אדם מפחד תמיד. There is a פסוק that says that it's good when a person is always in fear. There is another פסוק that says, פחדו הטעים בציון. That people that are in fear, it's because they have sins. Sinners are people that are scared and they have fear. So the Gemara say, what's happening here? This is contradicts each other. On one side it says, sinners are having fear all the time. Because of sins you have fear. Another Gemara says that it's good to have a fear. Why? Ashrei Adam mefachet tamid. It's good. So the Gemara is saying, no, this is two different scenarios. What did the Gemara says? Ahaduchat ha'im b'tzion. That sinners usually they have fears. It's in fears of this world. Yeah, a person has fears that someone will, a thief will come and, you know, over his house. Or someone has a fear, someone will be sick in the family. Or that uh, he's not going to have money or the CRA will come and, yeah, do something to his money. This is fears that means you have sins. That's why you have those fears. Someone that doesn't have sins and is clean, he is a munay in Hashem, he's not going to have all those fears. But there's only one fear that it's a good fear. Ashrei Adam mefachit damid bedivre Torah aktiv. It's in spiritual things. What does that mean? That you have fears to do avera. I'm scared, chaz v'shalom, to do the wrong thing. I don't want to say a... the name of God in vain. I have a fear from it. I don't want Chaz V'Shalom to do something bad to my father or to my mother to say something not proper because it's a sin. From those things, it's a mitzvah to have a fear. This is the only fear a person should have basically in his life. Says the Rambam, what is Al Titiyesh Min HaPuranu? There's certain people that say, okay, Kadosh Baruch Hu, When you don't do what Hashem wants, He will give you the bill in the world to come. The Olam Abba, they will, you know, everything will be calculated what you did wrong, you will pay for that. But here, we can still live. Baruch Hashem, everything is okay. Says the Rambam, Al titiyesh min apuranut ba'olam hazeh. Don't forget that for sins, you don't just pay in the world to come. For sins, we pay in this world. So you have to be scared a little bit. Not just in the world to come, you're going to pay for that. Also here, people, you can see them having fun for 10 years, 20 years. I know personally someone, Baruch Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave him a lot of money. Wow, what did he do? Chabal al azman. All the kaif of this world. Whatever he could uh, have fun in this world, he did. Anything. But Akol Yavo Becheshbon, after a few years that Baruch Hashem, Kif Kef, he had a good time. Pitom, and one day all the problems came out on him. Money problems, health problems, wife problems, kids problems, everything in one shot. He doesn't know what's happening here. Kadosh Baruch Hu loves you. He has to clean you sometimes in this world. It says the Rambam, Al titiyesh mina puranu, puranut po. 
Don't think it's only there. Ah, I mean, it's, it's, it's only there. I have time until they're going to clean me. Until they're going to... It's here in this world. This is one thing. And Bemet, today it's very hard to speak to people about this. Today people have so much anxiety of this world. If you add them a little bit of fear of mitzvot, it's already too much for them. But we have to understand that fear from mitzvot, that's the only fear we should have. And that's the most pure fear. Without fear from God, you cannot move in spirituality in Avodat Hashem. And the fear from God is with two things. Fear that in the world to come, there's uh, something, uh, you know, I need to pay off uh, all my deeds, whatever I did. But also says the Rambam in this world. Also in this world, most people, they pay. So how, how can you know, by the way, if Hashem is very close to you or less close to you at the moment? How can you know? I saw in the holy books they say, if you get punishment in this world right away, it's a good sign. It means Hashem is mamash karol, karol. Karol close to you. Lama. Hashem doesn't, yeah, Hashem wants to clean you on the spot. He wants you, he doesn't want you to have dinim, to have judgments, to have sins, even for a little time. Let's say you said something bad to your parents, right away, boom, you got a punishment, you saw something happening. This is a good sign. Mamash, that's why I had a long time ago a situation like this. I was 18 years old. I went to Israel for traveling. I took my aunt's car. My father spoke to me in the, in the phone. He told me, Israel, don't take cars from family, from other people. Who knows what's going to happen? Don't do that. I said, Ma, I'm a young guy, 18 years old. Ah, do I need to live the life. I took the car of my aunt. And the same day, I met a big car accident. You see, Akadosh Baruch Hu doesn't let you do an avera. <laughs> right away cleans you. Sometimes I said, the back then I didn't understand that. After a few years, I understood. Baruch Hashem, thank you, Akadosh Baruch Hu, that on the spot I needed to pay twenty thousand shekels for that uh, car accident. But you see that this is good. It's a good sign when Akadosh Baruch Hu is giving you the punishment right away in this world. Don't forget, here we're gonna clean the things. That's why have a little bit of fear. Do not do avero, do not do sins, because you can pay for that in this world as well.